Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting problem with functions. We have f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y plus 5. And we're also given that f of 1 equals 1. And we're supposed to evaluate f of negative 17 over 6. Now, can we find what f of x looks like? Is it, is it a linear function? Is it quadratic? Is it rational? What type of function? Something to think about. So I'm going to leave that open and start evaluating some values. So one of the things that I want you to observe, because I noticed while looking at this problem, one thing that will make it a little easier, faster, is to replace y with x. If you do it on both sides, this is going to give you f of 2x equals f of x plus f of x, which is 2f of x plus 5. Great, so this is something that we're going to use to double our inputs because we're going to do that a few times. So let's go ahead and start with 1 over 6. And the reason behind that is I'm trying to evaluate f of negative 17 over 6, which has a 6 in the denominator. And 1 can be obtained by adding 1 over 6 6 times, right? So let's go ahead and proceed. I'm going to start with f of 2 over 6. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to write it uh, using this formula, replace x with 1 over 6, that's going to be 2 times f of 1 over 6 plus 5. Now at this point, I don't know what it is, I just have a relationship between these two. Okay, now let's go ahead and try to evaluate f of 3 over 6. And how could you do that? Well, look at our relationship. We can replace x with 2 over 6 and y with 1 over 6. You see, that's the trick. Well, let's do it. That's going to give us f of 2 over 6 plus f of 1 over 6 plus 5. Now we do know that f of 2 over 6 can be written like this, so let's go ahead and plug it in. And now we get 2 f of 1 over 6 plus 1 f of 1 over 6. That's going to give us 3 times that. 3 times f of 1 over 6 plus 5. Okay? But notice that we have a 5 from here and another 5 from here, so that's going to give us plus 10. So let's, go to ma let's make sure we uh, get it right. So this is f of 3 over 6. We don't know these values yet, but at least we found some relationship. Okay, let's continue. Then the next step is going to be double the 3 over 6. So let's go ahead and take a look at f of 6 over 6, which is in fact f of 1, and we do know it, remember. We can write this as 2 times f of 3 over 6 plus 5 from this double formula. And then we're going to replace f of 3 over 6 with this. So that gives us 2 times that, so which is 6 times f of 1 over 6 plus 20 plus 5. So let's go ahead and just write it as plus 25. And this is f of 1. But we do know that f of 1 is equal to 1. How do we know that? Hmm, it's given. Great. So we got something from here. Take a look. Uh, subtract 25. You're going to get negative 24. Divide both sides by 6 and you get f of 1 over 6 equals negative 4. This is great because this is something we can use to build our way up to f of negative 17 over 6. Okay? So, let's see what we can do with this. Now, I do need f of negative 17 over 6. But to get there, let's go ahead and try to evaluate this first. f of 17 over 6. Because going from this to negative 17 over 6 will be easy. Sort of. You'll see. Okay. Uh, now, what am I going to do then? I do need to get half of 17 is about 8. So I need to get to 8, but to get to 8, I need to get to 4. So I do need f of 4 over 6. Okay? But that is equal to f of 3 over 6 plus 1 over 6. And by the formula, the first original one, this is equal to f of 3 over 6 plus f of 1 over 6 plus 5. What is f of 3 over 6? Do we know it? Well, we don't, but we will find out because it's just 3 times f of 1 over 6 plus 10. So it's going to be 3 times negative 4. And then, of course, this is negative 4 plus 5. You could also write it as 3 times this plus whatever, or 3 times negative... Uh, wait a minute, I forgot something, I think. Yes, 3 times f of 1 over 6 plus 10. 3 times f of 1 over 6 plus 10. So there's going to be a plus 15 here. There you go. Because this is going to bring in an extra 10 here, okay? Now... We have negative 12, negative 16, and negative 1. So f of 4 over 6 is negative 1. Let's go ahead and evaluate f of 8 over 6. And 
that can be done by just doubling. And remember the doubling formula. You just got to double the output and then just add 5 to it. Remember from here, if I'm not wrong, right? If I'm correct, yes. That's the doubling formula. And then f of 4 over 6 is negative 1. So this is going to be negative 1. Negative 2 plus 5 is going to be positive 3. So f of 8 over 6 is positive 3. So far so good. Are you with me? Let's continue. Now we're going to go ahead and go to f of 16 over 6. And that's just 2 times 8 over 6. And as you know, the doubling formula is going to give us 2 times f of 8 over 6 plus 5. f of 8 over 6 is positive 3 from here. This is a 3. 2 times 3 plus 5 is 11. We're almost there. We just need to add something. Now, doubling stops because we do need to get to an odd number, which is 17 over 6. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write the 17 over 6 as 16 over 6 plus 1 over 6. And by the way, never simplify these fractions because you always want to keep a 6 at the bottom. Okay? And by the formula, this is equal to f of 16 over 6 plus f of 1 over 6 plus 5. Now, we do know f of 16 over 6 is 11. And f of 1 over 6, what was that? We found it first, right? Negative 4, there you go. So we're going to add negative 4 to this and plus 5. 11 plus 5, 16 minus 4 is 12. So f of 17 over 6 is equal to 12. Great. We got f of 17 over 6, so hopefully we'll get more than half credit if we stop here. But we're not going to stop here. Now the next step is going from a positive input to a negative input. And how do you do that? I'll show you. So what is the original formula? f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y plus 5. By the way, this 5 can be changed and you're gonna, you'll are gonna you get a new problem. So here's the tricky part. To get to 17 over 6, think about it. If I can add 17 over 6 and negative 17 over 6, I get a 0, right? So if I can get f of 0, that's the trick, right? That's my key. So to get f of 0, what makes sense? Replace x and y both with 0 at the same time. Isn't that obvious? Sort of. f of 0 equals f of 0 plus f of 0. Oh, by the way, you could also use the doubling formula because 2 times 0 is 0. Isn't that amazing? You do anything to 0, it still stays the same. So that's why it's pretty strong. Anyways, so from here, f of 0 is negative 5. Awesome. Now we're going to go to f of negative something, right? So let's go ahead and do this. In this formula, let's go ahead and replace x with 17 over 6. So f of 0 can be written as f of 17 over 6 plus negative 17 over 6 because there's some is 0. But by the formula, this is f of 17 over 6 plus f of negative 17 over 6 plus 5. Don't forget the plus 5 all the time. And now we do know that f of 0 is negative 5. So this whole thing is equal to negative 5. And what do I know? f of 17 over 6 is 12. This is 12. Take a look. So we have... 12 plus something plus 5 equals negative 5. These two add up to 17. 17 plus f of negative 17 over 6 equals negative 5. And I think I'll stop here, just like Andrew Wiles said. And this is going to be negative 22. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.